My name is Matt Mitchell, and I'm a pianist. Don't you also play electronics? I do play electronics, as okay. you know, as it were. I um, I compose electroacoustic music, mostly using a computer, and I actually also do play. Well, perform, play, you know, play the computer. Um, I play. I use my laptop in in live, improvisational settings. Right, also, right. I started getting interested in it. And around, around the year like 2000, 2001, I would just make tapes, four track tapes with friends. I kind of always been aware of the music, but it was, felt a little daunting. It felt like this whole giant area of music that I just was like, seemed a little alien, you know, so. But as I got, I gradually started getting interested from a listening standpoint, and then so I got a computer. I just started making just recordings of various different sounds musical and non-musical sounds and then I basically develop a library of sounds. So what I do when I compose is I a lot of times will actually just improvise by myself like at the computer you know with my setup at home and then later on I'll maybe I'll cherry pick from say a longer improvisation and, and you know cut out things. Who would you say um, are your uh, predominant masters that you look up to in in terms of number one jazz pianists or other pianists if uh -huh. you have if you uh, if those are uh, applicable and um, and in uh, electronic composition as I was coming up the one I had to kind of escape the most was probably Keith Jarrett mm -hmm. because he was the one he was one I kind of took to especially and mm -hmm. there was a period of time where I probably listened too much to him or tried too <laughs> to emulate him uh -huh. too much. You know, like you know, any kind of artist has their one, one or two people yeah, that yeah. they. But you know, uh, electronic composers. Um, well, for me, that's also bound up a little bit in. I have a love of just modern, you know, whatever classical, modern classical or 20th century music in general too. But as far as electronic composition, I would say uh, Zanakis. Um, his electronic music, actually his piece La Legendaire, um, which I'm sure I'm not really pronouncing very well, but was one of my initial entrees into electronic music. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like, the, it's like this gigantic 46 minute piece that mm -hmm. when I heard it was, you know, totally mind boggling. You must know quite a few of the um, residents that are going to be working with. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have, I am. In various levels of acquaintance, I'm very close with Brian Howell, oh, okay. the bass player. Bass player he's a, yeah. I've known him for quite a, and he's actually he and I play in a group regularly together. Mm -hmm. What do you see as uh, uh, a, a benefit for you for this this residency? How do you see this uh, working to your advantage uh, as a musician? Well, um, one thing is I'm actually very excited about getting the chance to work with a lot of other Philadelphia musicians kind of all at once. I think that's, that's pretty appealing to me. Also, just because I, you know, I have a lot, of, obviously, have a pretty deep respect for John Hollenbeck's music, mm -hmm. mu musicianship. I mean, he and I, he and I attended the same uh, school. He, mm -hmm. he went to Eastman, if, you know, I don't know, maybe like six, seven years before mm -hmm. I did. So we kind of have some sort of common contacts. I've also played with some musicians that he's played with, mm -hmm. too. I've been fortunate enough to uh, have been have done that. So, but I haven't really had much contact with him. So, mm -hmm. that's you know something I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee that this uh, setting, the Big Ears setting, will be an environment that you could experiment or pull pull your electronics into it? That interests me. Sure. Okay. I mean, if something is it something that John Hollenbeck was also interested in, then absolutely, yeah. I would definitely, you know. I mean, I, I, my, the way my setup is, you know, I could definitely incorporate it. Bookmark this page and tune in often as new clips will be added regularly.